Dear friends, my name is Alexander, and today I am happy to meet our next unique guest visiting our company. His name is Dmitry Chuganov. He is a trader in the financial markets, traveler, blogger, and today I'd like to ask him a few questions. Dima, come in. How do you do? Hello. Good that you've made it. I've prepared a few questions for you. This is where our sales managers work. The statistics department,、uh, they monitor broadcasts and updates constantly. And here we have guys. Hello to everyone. And this is the place where our experts sit, work, do their magic. In fact, everything that you see on the website is on them. Dima, let's start. I'd like to ask you probably one of the most important questions that interests your audience and me. It's about your first steps on YouTube, your first overcoming of public speaking fear, video making, editing. Tell me how. Well, I came to YouTube recently. In general, I'm a half blogger. I don't have very many subscribers, but they are a target audience. For a very long time, I didn't agree to host webinars. It means until 2014, we only had full-time classroom training. People came to our office because I well. I had the basic issues. I can't watch and listen to myself on videos. Oh my God, my audience! Please forgive me for this. Your bleeding eyes are on me, and so on. I had all these fears, but then I realized that my audience is not only from Chelyabinsk, but also from Russia, Novosibirsk, Tomsk. In China, I also have viewers. Actually, all over the world. I had to host webinars, but the broadcast of the first webinar—it was hilariously funny. But you have to start with something, right? Your top three of traders' habits and superstitions. Traders' superstitions. Well, what superstitions do I have? If the left hand is itching, then you need to scratch it in your pocket because it will attract money. It's surely better than any indicator. Better than katana. It tells me that I will earn money soon. What else? Second, when you've earned a lot of money, run. I mean, it's called the King Kong syndrome. It happens when you have a series of successful days. Well, for example, yesterday we had an interest rate at the Fed. We, my subscribers, earned from 10 to 44 percent on this per hour of the webinar. On the next day, I took a day off, so we had a day off yesterday. Well, actually, why does this happen? If you earn a lot of money, then you grow wings over here, so huge you can fly. And these wings here, actually, they can seriously fail, and all profits will be lost. And the third one? Well, you know, I don't have any other habits. I'm not that superstitious. But when Mercury is in retrograde, surely I advise to trade very carefully. Dima, you've just said that you work and relax at the seaside. I suggest moving our interview there. Well, it's better at the seaside. Open trades, go to the sea. You relax. Don't look at the charts. Let's go. Let's continue there. Dima, listen. I know for sure you are a fan of traveling.、Uh, visited many places.、Um, please tell us how, in general, you see the ideal place for trading for yourself. What would be your morning, your working day? It is somewhere at the sea, in the office. Where is this place for you? What location do you find the most convenient to trade in in the financial markets? The best morning is when it starts at sea. Any sea, to be honest. I mean, no matter where it would be—Turkey, Montenegro, including right or Thailand, Cyprus—there is absolutely no difference for me. Everywhere is almost the same. You have three main trading strategies that you sell.、Um, they are called Katana, Katana Plus. And the last name, in my opinion, is the funniest: Sly Obo.、Um, it's very interesting. Why did you pick such titles? I'd like to understand their origins. How did they appear in your head? Well, Katana appeared in 2013. This is a trading strategy for intraday trading. It's based on several, initially in the original version, several Japanese indicators. And so I had to look for something Japanese for a name. Well. 
What could be more Japanese to cut the check than katana, for example, right? That is how katana appeared. Sly hobo, well, this is not a trading strategy. It's just my entire trading philosophy that presumes we're pumping up small deposits in a very aggressive way. So the recommended deposit for it is about two, maximum $300. And for example, yesterday we traded at the Fed, online trading, I mean. Our guys with $200 earned about $100, $150, $80. So it's a very hyperactive trade. Small accounts. And who has small accounts? Homeless guys. <laughs> Dima, what is your opinion about the investment instruments? PAM, copying, tell us your opinion. Well, let's start with PAM. I don't understand, I don't accept. Not mine, don't like it. I'm afraid of it. Well, I mean, because a huge amount for many investor is collected, and even despite monthly limits, for example, on withdrawal, sometimes there are situations when a huge investor all of a sudden decides to pull his money out. Surely, it is his deal, but if you have issues on your account at this time, you are the manager, and this investor simply cuts off half of your hand, so to speak, and huge problems appear because of this. Well, the thing is, you can't tell other investors, guys, wait for a week, two, three, and so on. Money is pulled out all the time and PAM accounts drain. Well, I don't like PAM. I don't understand. I am very wary of this. Personally, I've never opened or copied PAM, so it is... I just studied the question. I had a thought, why not? But somehow it turns out that it doesn't work. By the way, when it comes to copying, it's more interesting. I've probably already used copying for two years. I even had public copying account when traders simply copied some of my systems there. For example, I made a copy of my intraday. I also made a copy of Sly Hobo. But now I've closed copying of Sly Hobo. I also closed the intraday copying because I have a vacation until the 15th of August. Well, roughly, I had no vacation for 10 years. Then I think that we launch intraday trading again. An intraday copy will appear again. What is good about copying? That all funds are in the right places, yes? Well, I mean, if the money belongs to investors, then each investor has these funds on his account. The investor chooses the load on his deposit. So, for example, if you even copy some kind of hyper-aggressive trading account, but you put the load of 10%, everything is fine. So, you won't have hyper-profitability, but you also reduce the risk on your own, and so on. Well, here pulling money out from a copying account will not affect the work of the manager. That's it. So copying is good. Trust management is bad. I mean, again, in PAM accounts, funds are not where they should be. And also, our legislation, it develops kind of slow, you know? So in the case of PAM losing money, the investor, well, in general, roughly, is not protected at all. So I mean the same thing, of course, refers to copying. But at least the investor does not hope for anything. He sets the risk. That's all. Trading with robots or still trading manually? Trading manually. Here I have two beautiful hands. They grow from the shoulders. The shoulders are from there. There is a head above them. And I still, well, am not that lazy bones to click the button three times a day. You understand, right? So if you take the average time, not even the time, I generally open, God knows, 10 transactions a month. This is a very active month for me when I really tried and worked. From there to full, it takes two hours a month. So that's why I don't see any reason to look for some kind of this grail robot because, well, there is an opinion that they do not exist. Someone is telling me, there, I have guys who have found some kind of robot, inexpensive. It's selling something to them there and so on. But nevertheless, when you are investing, you must understand what you are doing. Often the guys who copy the robot, they don't know anything at all. Like, what is lot? What is margin? What is free margin? There, they don't know anything. In general, they just installed this monkey for trading and it trades somehow. Personally, I have not seen good robots. So anyway, I didn't do any tests. Well, I'm still saying, so far I will be a 30 year old soon and my hands have not fallen off yet. Well, I mean, I can trade on my own. 
listen, what profitability to expect if we use any of your trading strategies? I understand that they are based on the news trading, right? So that's yours? No, no. News is entertainment. The only thing that I regularly do, for example, non-farm payrolls there, some important news, such as a decision on the interest rate, right, and so on. But this is more for fun than any major trading. That is, intraday trading. This does not mean you need the news in order to make money. Here, and as far as the income from intraday, a good day is when you've earned one and a half, 1,000 pounds. You're good. You participated in the Battle of the Bloggers. Please tell us about yeah. this experience. We're very curious. The Battle of the Bloggers. This was a Chelyabinsk event. I looked at our stats on Instagram. In general, I appeared in the situation that my audience are traders mostly from Moscow, St. Petersburg, Yekaterinburg, Novosibirsk, and the Far East. With all of this, I am in Chelyabinsk. So such stats, it was really very surprising. I decided to take part in this event in order to grow our Chelyabinsk audience a bit. And that's all. Well, apparently, I'm a so-so blogger, of course, but we won. What's your opinion about the future of cryptocurrencies and this industry in general? Cryptocurrencies. At first, someone told me about cryptocurrencies back in 2013, 2014, when Bitcoin price was only $4, about this. At that time, the thing is, I had a stable income. There were 10, 15% a month. Well, there were 15 even then. So I immediately said, guys, what are you talking about? Here, I have my 15%. I'm fine. Everything is fine. And back then, I had about $30,000 loose that I threw into the Forex market. As time passed, I counted that I had missed more than a billion dollars by simply ignoring this thing. Well, the thing, first, it's hard. I probably wouldn't be able to keep that long. For example, up to 19,000, so if I would have taken for four dollars and so on. But the point is, in 2017, I've started buying Bitcoins already, just because they started to grow. So I started with 600, 700 dollars and bought during a whole year. Then in December, I successfully sold for 19,000. And that's all for now. My cryptocurrency story is over. What will happen next year is not very clear. I don't see any significant meaning and need in the existence of this cryptocurrency in general. Any of it, right? That's why there's Bitcoin. Some sort of Facebook Libra, right? Libra. It's called Libra. And a billion of these cryptocurrencies that have appeared. They are not physically required. How about anonymity? Yes, it's not about, well, anonymity, okay, is good. In the same way, this money from wallets also disappears anonymously, right? I mean, for example, there are also some problems with security. The bottom line is that you cannot explain to all people how to use it. Do you remember how we switched to bank cards? How it was just 10 years ago, or well, even how many? We were told that now all of you are getting salaries on a plastic thing. I mean, you won't receive paper money at the checkout. You will receive a plastic thing. Do you remember how people for a very long time got used to it, right? So now we are going, for example, to our Chelyabinsk, my beloved hometown. In any street, we may chat with any senior lady and ask, do you know what Bitcoin is or not? She will probably know something because they said it on TV, on the first channel. But how to use it? Surely no. I mean, she won't buy bread with bitcoins and so on. I know there is a certain percentage of bitcoin traders out there. 1% of the whole world. I'm sure they are great. They did it. They took the hype train. Well, I also did this in 2017, but I don't see cryptos to be massive. Unlikely. Lately, the cryptos grew from four, five thousand dollars to ten. A new hype wave? Will it happen soon? Another some kind of bang breaking through some levels? Why don't I trade Bitcoin right now? Because at the moment, the risk-profit ratio, it is not the same as it was in 2017. Well, in 2017, I bought for $700 and waited up to 19,000. Now the price is 10,000, right? You know, what if I buy now? To get the same profitability, like in 2017, it is necessary for Bitcoin to grow up to 70,000. There are no such prices. And right now, it's just not written in stone. 
This whole analysis is like this, because in 2017, it was very cool to have goals, for example, for investing in Bitcoin using the Fibonacci extension for analysis, right? The basic tech analysis training could be applied directly for cryptocurrency. It worked well. And now what? We have a sideways, the range between 13 and 10,000. And that's it. I mean, eventually we'll go somewhere. My opinion on crypto? Well, I mean, in any case, this is a product. It has its price. If it has a price, then it can be traded. That's all. But it can't be used in order to buy bread. Imagine this situation, the year of 2025. How will this industry, trading here in general, change by this time? What trends are you personally tracking right now? And what has changed in our industry? I've been trading since 2011. During this time, what was new? We got MT5. The terminal switched to five decimals after the comma. Yeah, a big change if you ask me. A real breakthrough. <laughs> and yeah, we got crypto. That's all. To me personally, it would be better if nothing changes. I mean, give me a dozen currency pairs. Gold, oil, the Dow Jones index. That's it. I don't need anything else. I mean, perhaps I'd like to get a better regulation, right? For example, recently I've received the information, like yesterday, that Australian brokers can only work with clients from Australia. I have clients from Germany, who according to their laws find it difficult to deal with our usual offshore companies, so he used some kind of Australian broker, and now he doesn't have such an opportunity anymore. Another thing, cutting the leverage. It happens in Europe, 1 to 30, that is their maximum leverage. This story is that there will probably be fewer people with small deposits, right? I mean, more serious and expert investors will enter the market. It's good. So when I was told that Russia, they want to introduce something like four levels of investor qualifications, and one of the options is that you have free money like about six million for the first time it was offered when the law was introduced. And I was really happy, you see. Because most of the guys who just got on the internet like this click on the advertisement of some scam brokers, damn them. Throw hundreds of dollars without training, without management, without anything. They just drain this money in a couple of hours. So many people who fall into this. Now, well, if a man has $100,000, he entered. He does well, works for the result, that's all. It will be calmer. Dima, let's imagine I am a trader and I want to get to your training course. Is it easy or difficult to become your student? What about for some individual lessons with you? Tell me more. Yes, in general. There's nothing complicated about this. Just pick the closest course in our schedule, buy it, and in fact, we may begin. As for the individual training, now I tutor fewer students, for example, than about five years ago. And you may have to wait for a free slot in my schedule. There are two options. Either you just subscribe to a course that you like, right? You know, I have four of them. They are the basic, medium term, intraday, sly hobo, that's all. I mean, everyone can choose what he or she prefers. There is also, of course, the all-inclusive course, where we go from scratch to the first results like this. Ah, there's one more, second option, training along with management. And it is, firstly, more profitable and beneficial. It's cheaper. And that is where we gather traders in private chats. In these chats, they actually ask their questions, get signals from me, like market reviews, and so on. And once a month, a sort of intensive webinar takes place. You have two clients. A client who has a deposit of $1,000, yes, to work in the financial markets, and a person who has hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they are people with different deposits, with different prospects. As a result, will they get the same product or will it be another attitude to the person who, well, has greater prospects for profit? Will he receive more initiative, more attention from you or are all of them equal and do not care about this thing? Well, in any case, everyone is equal. The bottom line is that they just go to different courses to study. To a person who already has $100,000 on his trading account, he will most likely trade on medium term, or he will trade, yes, medium term, because it makes no sense to do intraday trading with such large trading accounts. That's it. 
a person who has $1,000, he should follow intraday trading because there is not enough money. Money must be gained first. And I am opposed to the position that with $1,000, for example, you, well, won't be able to earn in Forex market. This is not true. I've been proving this for several years. I have shown it. My subscribers also prove it very well, and so on. The approach in any case does not change at all. I absolutely don't care about the amount of money a person has and how he trades, even what broker he chose. Our signature question, only two words, why A markets? Why A markets? Well, I always have a few questions for a broker. There are only two of them, actually. Can I normally withdraw money? And are there any good trading conditions? Well, for example, to trade Sly Hobo, you need very narrow spreads. And you have the most narrow spreads on ECN accounts. I mean, narrow spreads, low commission. Well, basically, I don't have any requirements for a broker. Just let me trade normally. Let me withdraw money. And that's it. In short, yesterday I posted on Instagram. I said that I'm going to meet with a representative of A-Markets. Subscribers left a few questions. The first one that I liked the most, wait a second, so questions, questions. So the first one that I liked a lot, a lot. And so recently you've released two videos with interviews in Montenegro about A-Markets with two traders. Did they decide to PR more? Well, who are they? Traders or A-Markets? This is such a question here, right? And it is true. They ask the same question, like from the same list. So what can you change? What questions need to be asked? So they wouldn't look the same. Well, look, it is important to mention that they wanted to have an interview with us as a company. They were recorded really well with a break within some short time. The most important thing is to emphasize the quality of content, its transparency, its honesty, its reliability. I am sure that in the very close future, both your subscribers and our subscribers, they'll be able to see the answers to those questions that they did not receive. Yes, they're from these first two interviews. And moreover, maybe we'll even launch a section where, for example, each of our traders, every investor, he could ask a question, yes, where can we answer these questions? I think this format will be interesting. And I think in the near future, we'll launch it. Yeah, yeah, good. Then I have the series of questions by Mikhail Celine. By the way, he is a trader for a long time, about three years. Probably he's subscribed to me, maybe even longer. What actions are important to create a brokerage company like A-Markets? What does this mean? Well, here, first of all, I'd like to list some technical components, right? I mean, well, this is understandable. There's a website, a trading platform, payment systems. Well, and payment systems are, well, probably, well, even more complicated. You see a more complicated task than, for instance, buying a MetaTrader license. There is, of course, an office. These are employees, some internal regulations, external regulations. Important to mention the setting up of a liquidity bridge with any provider. We work with one of the largest liquidity providers in general, in Europe. It is regulated by the English license of FCA, Financial Conduct Authority, one of, so to say, the most powerful and strictest regulators in general in our market. The company X Open Hub that provides us with liquidity is also our contractor. Also, let's say one of the largest worth mentioning is IG Group. This is also a huge English broker. Well, we actually have about a dozen different liquidity providers. Well, IG Group and X Open Hub, these are the main ones. Another question from Mikhail. Who is the liquidity provider at A Markets? So, the third question. Do A Markets employees participate in Forex trading? And what brokers do they use? In general, we don't forbid our employees of the company, yes. To trade in financial markets, moreover, you see, he definitely does not have any advantages than an ordinary trader. He also sees the terminal in the same way. He also has the same rates. I think that many employees, yes, they take part in trades and moreover, I don't see what is bad about it. Well, I mean, just register with some company and start trading. What was the biggest one-time withdrawal made by the company this year? Well, in fact, I can't tell the exact number. I can tell you so, according to our regulations, we withdraw any sum earned by our clients within up to 24 hours. 
Moreover, if withdrawal requests happen during working hours, then all requests are processed from 10 to 15 minutes. We are trying to work here. How much did you withdraw? How much did we withdraw? The biggest sum. For a year, let's say. In 2017, in 2017, we had a really interesting story. And moreover, we made an announcement on our website. By the way, an interview with this trader may come out soon. He definitely has something to boast about the experience of working with our company. This is a young businessman from Kazakhstan. He completed a training course in our office, added, in fact, for the financial markets, a small modest deposit. $3,000 and begun to trade. And it was just the end of 2017, you see. There was definitely a person, well, you see, he profited from cryptocurrency hype, got into successful transactions on many indices, including currency. And thanks to the rapid growth of basic digital assets and indices, this trader increased his deposit by 90 times. I mean, his balance was fixed, so his profit was $270,000. This is a truly unique case. Yeah. For what term? It turns out that this profit was earned during about two months of trading, and we did withdraw all of this money from his account. The case is unique because taking into account that the trader is a very young person, well, I don't remember, aged from 28 to 30 years, in this range, he managed to stop and fix this profit for himself, withdraw it and enjoy his life. He continues to develop his business, he is still trading in our company, but actually now he has a more modest deposit there, of course, uh, five or $10,000. Maybe for some traders, well, a drive of financial markets is important, you see. It is not just a way to make money, it is, above all, the opportunity to relieve his feelings.